Okay, just finishing our OcuSync 3 first build, we've got our thermal paste on the ear unit. We're going to place that onto the frame and then we're going to mount the heat sink. That's going to make sure that the ear unit works properly and we're not going to have any problems in flight. Okay, so as you can see, the build is now finished. Now, obviously, the big difference on this compared to quads before 03 is the new heatsink. I chose to go with the AMD Wraith cooler because it has that cool RGB functionality as well. Now, the idea of this is to remove the excess heat away from that air unit. Obviously, whilst it's smaller than we've had before, it does use 40% additional power. And as a result of that, it's going to create more heat and we need to move that heat away from the aircraft. Not only do we need that thermal paste on the bottom, but you need the heat sink as well to help keep it chilled in flight. Now, obviously, having this large cooler on the top is going to have a potential effect on the aircraft, but don't worry, the cooler itself is made from copper and aluminium, so it won't affect your compass. And the additional weight is coming in at only about 1.2 kilos. And whilst that may have an effect on the flight characteristics, it's the reality of having high end digital FPV with built in image stabilization. This is how quads are going to be as we move forward into 2023.